Our next movie is named Married to the Mob, and this is the new comedy by Jonathan Demme, whose recent movies have included The Strange and Entertaining Something Wild and the offbeat uh, one-man monologue Swimming to Cambodia. This time he tells the story of a mafia wife, played by Michelle Pfeiffer, whose husband is a hitman for the mob. Now, there are times when she gets tired of their mafia lifestyle. I want a normal life. I'm sick and tired of the gambling, the guns, bailing you out of jail, never knowing when you're going to come home, if you're going to come home. But look at this place. Everything we wear, everything we eat, everything we own fell off a truck. That's Alec Baldwin as Pfeiffer's husband, Frank, who was nicknamed the Cucumber for a variety of reasons. The movie also has some fun with the personal style of the mob boss, played by Dean Stockwell. A motel tryst later that night will lead to Frank the Cucumber's murder, and when the mob boss gets ideas that he might be just the man to comfort the new widow, his wife, played by Mercedes Rule, warns Pfeiffer to keep her hands off. You better call it off, because if I ever catch you two together, I... 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 <laughs> and Mercedes Rule is terrific in this film. Meanwhile, one of the FBI guys following Pfeiffer begins to fall for, and he is played by Matthew Modine. Oh, God, don't stop. That feels great. I can't remember the last time a man touched me below the waist. Oh? Huh? <laughs> I said that. <laughs> the movie's climax has everybody in Miami Beach with the mafia boss suspecting that Pfeiffer may have led the FBI right to him. Angela? Yeah? Come over here and meet Mike Smith from Dubuque. <laughs> Married to the Mob has a lot of big laughs in it, especially in that very good last scene. But for a movie, it's kind of disjointed, and it never really seems to develop the comic tension that it needs. It seems to be a series of isolated moments and small little gags over on the side, and little cutaways to funny little small things, while the main line of the story kind of gets neglected. There are two very good performances in the movie, by Dean Stockwell as the Mafia boss, and by Mercedes Rule as his wife. But I was disappointed by Michelle Pfeiffer as the heroine because she didn't bring much comic energy to the role. She seemed more like a bystander, an acted-upon person. And I was baffled by the way Matthew Modine's role was written. His role was so goofy and so unfocused, you never knew what to think about him. The movie starts with a good idea, but I think it grows self-indulgent. Uh, I had a similar reaction to the picture. I enjoyed i mean when she says about everything in our life fell off the back of a truck yeah. i am with this movie and line. i am laughing and the premise is great as it develops that there are characters that i liked and i will recommend the film but i'm recommending it with a warning that it falls steadily downhill uh i i think that when you blame pfeiffer's performance i think it's the way the character is written i think the film just spins off and in, including too many elements i don't know what happened there mm -hmm. i think it could have stayed tighter with her uh and the mafia boy i just just think that there's too many things that he's trying to throw in this picture well it seems to me that in a way her character then if it is her character not her performance is too passive she doesn't really well, like the, being married to the mob she doesn't like the fact that the mob boss is chasing her but she she isn't kind of a, a gutsy person she should have who, who been. really wants to take control of things. She allows I was just everyone to she, sweep her along. She should have been. Here she's, she's been living in a tough life, mm -hmm. and she's going to be tough enough to break out of the tough life. Then she should be tough enough to have the movie be about her character and how she fends the Yeah, movie because succeeds. in a way, the mob boss's wife, Mercedes Rule, is the they person take it, who, if they'd it, taken that strength of character and put it in the central role, it would have been a different movie. A split decision on Married to the Mob. We both liked the idea, but I felt the plot was all over the map.